Here's a real quick setup for HPE's quarter. And by the way, Dell had a great quarter. You know, Lenovo showed some strength in areas, but HPE had some interesting stuff. Um, ARR for annual uh, um, uh, recurring revenue up 48% year over year, mostly from software, really good sign. As a service contract uh, value up to 12 billion, they, they have continued this hockey stick climb with GreenLake. Um, that's incredible to see. Uh, Intelligent Edge kind of leading, oh, before I get into that, non-US revenue mix is 65%, really strong and healthy. Um, and maybe more importantly, or most importantly, uh, leading into what you're talking about, Will, is yeah. Intelligent Edge. It is the number two contributor from a revenue perspective to the top line for HPE behind compute. Uh, right. it, it surpasses storage, HPC, and AI as the number two contributor. It's not just Aruba. Um, this is kind of all their vertically you know, focused solutions. But I know you want to jump into uh, Intelligent Edge, so I want to hand it off to you. Yeah, no, it's a great setup, Matt. And um, and yeah, I mean, it's it's quite impressive when you look at the contribution that this portfolio made to the most recent quarterly earnings. And and certainly to your point, um, Aruba is um, you know encompassed in Intelligent Edge, but it's much broader than that, right? I mean, you know, HPE has long done a lot um, within you know Edge infrastructure. But, you know, I think this does point to the strength that Aruba is bringing to the company. And uh, it's continued to uh, to build its momentum. Yeah. And, um, you know, there have been several key acquisitions for, for HPE around access security. In fact, I just had a briefing with that team. So they're folding SSE capability. And I think I've spoken to that on prior podcasts. Um, combining that with another acquisition that HPE made with uh, Silver Peak, mm -hmm. and it's really it's combining a, a powerhouse with respect to SaaS, SD WAN, and security. And clearly, you know, in speaking with executives recently, um, security has been uh, a focal point for for Aruba, and uh, and certainly, you know, now every networking infrastructure provider is talking about the convergence of networking and security, but. Um, Aruba's been at it pretty consistently and for quite a long time. I'll also mention from an edge perspective, Aruba has been a leader there as well. Yeah. So in 2020, they launched their edge services platform, which really sort of, um, you know, kind of, you know, put their stake in the ground, you know, at the top of the mountain with respect to AI ops. That's another area that everyone is talking about these days. It kind of gets whitewashed at times, but, um, but what I like from HPE and from Aruba is just this consistency and, and momentum build. And hey, you know, that, that resulted in some pretty killer earnings for Q2. Yeah, it's funny. Um, when HPE went through their brand realignment uh, a few months back, you know, consolidation of, like every big company, they get all these brands that build up over time. Before you know it, you know, you've got 40 brands and it's like, what's what? Um, when they went to radically reducing the number of their brands, uh, the one brand that they did not touch was uh, Aruba. Right. Because of its relevance in the market and the the affinity it has um, with with uh, the networking crowd. So that speaks to how important Aruba is to them, not just from a technology, well, from not just from a brand, but from a technology perspective as well. Yeah. Um, that's yeah. incredible. And I'm, apparently I'm dyslexic this morning too. I said Q2, I meant to say Q3. So I just wanted to put that on the record and correct that. 